After a very eventful train ride on the Jose Corvo Express, you can see us arriving here walking alongside the estate. The drinks on the train were amazing. Yeah, you guys look like you had a great time. We absolutely did. Yeah, that's Toya up in the corner turning around and, hey, <laughs> it's me, <laughs> the other half of the gym. We were having a really good time just walking and exploring, and you'll see us up next in the estate tour. This is the oldest active distillery in Latin America, the La Rojena Distillery. Uh, we were not able to go in because it is closed due to the pandemic, but we were able to look at it from outside. Still dope. The grounds are absolutely beautiful. This entire state was just so stunning, so well manicured, so vibrant. Everything was just really, really pretty. This is the Juan Beckman Gallardo Cultural Center, and it sort of sits in the center of the estate. So many really pretty things that we were able to view that day. Yeah, it was really spectacular. Like, the artistry of the paintings was really dope. Uh, the saddles were super dope, intricate. So nice and vibrant. We really enjoyed going through this museum. We really enjoyed just seeing everything that was preserved. Uh, these horse and buggies, spectacular. Really, really pretty. Now, this was a long day. Well worth it, but a long day. <laughs> you ain't never lie, yo. What, the day started at nine? That's when the train left, I, I believe? Yep. And then before that, we had to do the sign-in process, which took a, a bunch of time in and of itself. Yes, it did. Uh, but yeah, so the train left, they gave us some sort of breakfast. Yeah, we had a break. We had a, a, a quick meal on the train. Of course, we did a lot of tequila drinking on the train. You get to the estate, there's a tour, there's a performance, which is lovely, by the way. And you have lunch on your own. Yeah, we had to, during the town square part is when we went to go eat. So you guys will see that later in the video and the performances were after that. But um, yeah, it was dope. Yeah. Uh, this is the main courtyard, gorgeous, gorgeous, as you can see. My favorite part of the entire tour was looking at these gardens in this estate because it is just, it's just stunning. There's just no other way of how to say it. It's really magical almost. Facts, facts. The sculptures, uh, the, the way the, the greenery looks, it was just really nice. She's coming for us? Oh, that's it. Oh, 
is where we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember this? Hello, it's Latoya from Legit Foodie, and we are at the Jose Cuervo Estate. It is absolutely beautiful here. It is stunning. We are surrounded by trees. It's like we are in the middle of the oasis. It is so good. Right now, I'm enjoying a mango uh, margarita uh, con tahini. You can see it here. It's so lovely. If you have an opportunity to come out to take the tequila tour at with Jose Cuervo, absolutely do. So this was one of the main streets leading into Tequila's town square. We really, really wanted to get on one of these buses, but the wait was like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, and that was about all the time we had for food. So we opted to eat instead. What's up guys? So we're here at the Agave Fields, part of the Jose Corvo Express Agave Tour. Excuse me. Uh, just part of the tour. I'm so, so tired guys. This tour is a lot. <laughs> it starts early. You drink all day. I haven't been all right, drinking. Let's go, guys. But we got a ton of agave here. Tons of people. People are drinking. They're feeling wonderful. I may have had one or two slushy things that had like minuscule amounts of uh, liquor in it because I was hot and I was thirsty and I'm tired. Do you remember going on school trips back in the day like when you went to um, Six Flags if you're familiar with Six Flags Great Adventure on a school trip and then you come back and everybody just beat? That's how we're, we feel. But the tour is not over. <laughs> we just got here. So after a lot of time on the train and after time in the distillery, uh, here we are. So this is Legit Foodie and we are at the Agave Fields in Tequila, 
Mexico. 